Hello and uh welcome to Yes, welcome to my TNA Impact Wrestling Review with Days After No Surrender coming off the Bound for Glory series, which is done. Austin Aries came out, the world heavyweight champion, talking about his opponent for Bound for Glory coming next month. And how they still deal with the Aces and Aces problem. Jeff Hardy, the new number one contender. Even though attacked by Aces and Aces, he still did the match against Bully Ray and still became the number one contender. Bully Ray sells a fluke and he'd rather have a rematch. It's kind of funny because you get a lot of Devon's better chance with a. Because he's better than Bubba Ray, I guess, uh, Devon. Because they get a lot of those chants now. But, uh, as I said for the show is that he wants a rematch tonight so he wants to t take on Jeff Hardy for the number one contender spot take if he can like beat Jeff Hardy to get his number one contender spot for the world heavyweight championship at Bound for Glory uh, Zima Ion going against Sanjay Duff for the X Division title uh, good match was alright kinda quick um, Zima Ion picking up the win still the X Division champion other stuff that happened tonight throughout the show, we had, uh, yes, what else was I, sorry about uh, forgetting the notice, short notice on the show, Hogan pretty much telling that Daniels and Cass have singles matches, and if uh, any of these guys win, they would get a, a number one contender spot for the tag team champions ships. So, pretty much AJ Styles going against Kazarian. AJ Styles won the match. Styles clash. Good for him right there. He won the match. Also, tonight, uh, Chavo Guerrero going against Christopher Daniels. Uh, it's kind of funny because they chant Fallen Rooster now. But for some reason, I feel like they try to copy the Outlaws for some reason. I don't, I don't know why. I just see it. But, pretty much Chavo Guerrero going against Christopher Daniels. Good match. Chavo hitting the frog splash, picking up the win. Uh, also, Hulk Hogan addressing the Aces and Aces problem. Saying, we took over, TNA is under lockdown, and they took care of those Aces and Aces guys. Pretty much trying, uh, telling Jeff Hardy that uh, he's pretty much done everything, sacrificed where he is to get the spot. But if he wants to put it on the line tonight, let him do it. And pretty much Aces and Aces is coming on the screen then. Talking about, they could be anywhere. They could be in the arena. They could be sitting in the crowd. Walking through the office. Going to the conference room. We don't know. Because how do they keep multiplying? I don't know how Aces and Aces keep multiplying. Because they're in and they're out of the building. But we just don't know where. Don't know what they can show next. And at that time, they could take out Hogan. Anytime. I'll say that. And pretty much Hogan having a meeting with the others. I guess telling how Joseph Parks he has to protect people and say he's going to get this get the case wide open by next week. He's got some uh, evidence. But pretty much Hogan, Dixie Carter, D'Lo Brown, Al Snow, and Brooke Hogan talking about what are you going to do about the Aces and Aces? But you got to let because the, they've already chasing them down and they're running away. But they got to take those guys, take them down. Let them come to them or they got to go and take out Aces and Aces themselves. The battles keep happening. But it's always somebody from TNA getting injured. And they're gunning for Hogan's head or anybody else in that company. Uh, Tara calling out Miss Tessmacher. Pretty much congrats on her since she's the student. And her being uh, putting the knockout title around the way she wants to do that. Like presented like the, the knockout title. Just, just putting it around the waist of... Test marker, but pretty much after that, Tara got back in the ring, and I guess we have now Tara's a heel, a heel turn. I gotta say, the crowd kind of popped. They really chatted for Tara. They, they were aware when she went heel, I guess, taking out Miss Test marker. So, uh, I guess the crowd's gonna be really behind uh, Tara on this one. I guess being a heel. So, we're gonna see what happens there. Also, uh, throughout the show tonight, gut check we got ne next week, open fight night with TNA. Also, to add on to the show, hmm. coming into the main event of the show, Jeff Hardy versus Bully Ray for pretty much for Jeff Hardy's 
number one contender spot. And y'all almost think Bully almost had here tonight. Kind of a rematch, I would say. Before I move on to that match, I almost got about Bobby Roode coming back, returning. He, it's like Bobby Roode hasn't really been gone that long after he lost the title. I'd say about three weeks. So about he took out James Storm, telling him that he's nothing, just riding the coattails of Bobby Roode and beer money, because he could never win the World Heavyweight Title, screwing James Storm out of the World Heavyweight Title for the number one contender spot at Bound for Glory. And pretty much Storm coming out and attacking him and telling him that next week he will get Bobby Roode. As I was saying with the main event, Jeff Hardy versus Bully Ray, uh, good match. Uh, I don't know what's going to be Bully Ray's going to be released now. A lot of rumors about his contract and everything. So it's it's not really sure what's going to happen at that point with Bully Ray and TNA. But Jeff Hardy picking up the win, Swan Time Bomb beating the Bully. So yeah, it was a good show tonight for TNA. I'll say that. Don't know what's going to happen next week, but uh, I got to say it was really action-packed tonight. Open fight nights next week. I thought it was a good show tonight. So keep watching TNA. Hey, they keep playing the Bound for Glory, like, you know, memories. Just playing past Bound for Glories, which I've seen in the past with TNA. So I'm just going to end it off right here with this show because it's me. It's me, H double O D with the news and the reviews. And... Eating more gum off than a shoe. So, I'm going to say comment, subscribe. You know I am. You know what I do. Keep supporting the show. Let me know about the secret office right here. And I'm going to uh, end the show right here. So, out of here. Peace.